hi folks today we are going to see about the cluster creation in azure databricks okay once you logged into the azure databricks uh, you can see the left left pane the list of options uh, to create cluster just click the option computer okay uh, it will take you to the cluster page cluster ui page there is a two type of clusters are there actually one is all purpose cluster and another one is a job cluster so now for today's session we are going to create all purpose cluster job cluster job cluster it's meant for jobs only once a job has been completed it will get terminated actually okay we'll go and clear create a all purpose cluster okay just to click the option create cluster you should provide the name I'm giving the alpha underscore cluster. Okay, I'm choosing the standard uh, cluster mode. You can have three cluster modes are available: high concurrency, standard, and single node. Actually, I'm going to select single node because uh, uh, for uh, it's for a tutorial purpose. I'm just creating it as single node actually. Okay. Uh, okay. Third one is the Databricks runtime version. Okay, what is Databricks runtime version? I will mention this. Uh, I'll put a separate video for this Databricks runtime version. So, as of now, it's a bundle of softwares actually that will be installed in all the nodes in your cluster. Okay. So, main thing is uh, they 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 will be it will come with the Scala and Spark actually. Okay. Okay. Uh, there will be autopilot options are there actually well, it means uh, if there is no activity in your cluster we can uh, we can mention the time after this time it the cluster will automatically got uh, terminated because uh, you, you need to use this option uh, uh, because uh, a unnecessary unnecessary turning on your cluster will cost will cost in the will cost by azure team azure team actually uh, okay final one is a node type each node type has to be 14 gb memory 4 cores and 0 0.75 i am just chosen the single node there will be only one nodes are there actually okay there will be advanced options are available you can mention the spark variables here actually uh, if on, if you want to mention the cluster log bar, log path you can mention it if you want to scripts uh, uh, that scripts has to be added means you have to add it here actually as of now i don't have any in scripts further actually okay if you want to send a if you want to set any enrollment rules you can set it here for nodes that's it actually i'm going to click create cluster the cluster is creation progress okay guys now the our cluster has been created actually it is ready to uh, ready to use actually okay okay uh, i have created a notebook i am going going to run this notebook in this alpha cluster actually you can choose the cluster a list of cluster here actually uh, for us we have only one cluster server actually that is alpha cluster that we have created just now okay i am going to run this thing actually okay it will list out in the data frame which exists in the and dot See you soon. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye.